All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to start this match right now. The hot seat match between Reed Fleming and Norbert. I don't even know Norbert's last name. Maybe he'll tell me if I ask him. We're going to watch Cornelius drop this nine ball. Oh, that already happened. Okay. So then let's start this match. This is a hot seat match here at Manila Billiards. World PPA nine ball shootout, Christmas party and barbecue. We're hanging out at Manila Billiards, all glued to our seats, watching these matches, except there's one person glued to a seat in an entirely different way. That would be sleeping. But he's only five years old, so he can sleep. It's nap time for that young man. And there's the break by Norbert. And it looks like Norbert's given up two games to read. Maybe he got two games by complaining about how bad back that he has. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Reed, actually, I've known for uh, well, it was about seven years now. I met him at Hollywood Billiards. And, uh, you know, the first day I met him, he said he had a bad back. I, you know, I, I, I know what it's like to have a bad back. But you know what? He still plays. He has a lot of uh, heart. And he's taken me down a couple times at tournaments, that's for sure. So this should be a pretty good match. There's Reed Fleming now. In Norbert. What's your last name? Santiago. So, good. So I'd like to get a couple of the Pinoys here to do some Tagalog commentary. So, uh, you know, anytime, uh, you know, any of you Filipinos want to do some Tagalog, uh, are you, uh, what are you, Japanese? Okay, uh, konnichiwa, let's go. Come on. We'll do some Japanese commentary. Oh, okay. Okay. That's right. So I'm trying to go international here. Let's, 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 let's see. I've done Philippine. And uh, I had uh, Spanish. I've had Spanish. And I was trying to get Vietnamese guys to do Loatian. But anyway. If anybody would ever like to commentate in another language with with, uh, with one of their friends or family, please contact me at povpool at gmail .com. Oh. oh my god. Whoa! <laughs> the only rule is that you sweat the match. <laughs> I've allowed links in the chat room as well, so now's your time. Now's your chance to put your favorite website link in my chat room.
by the way, I, I want to let you guys know, um, December 20th, I'm streaming in a, an action match between Jenny Lee and Melinda Wang, Race to 25. December 20th, they're going to be playing Race to 25 at Hard Times Billiards. Friday, December 20th, 1 p.m. I'm going to be streaming it live from Hard Times Billiards. That should be a lot of fun. Now I have to ask, what inspired that match? There's been a lot of talk about it at Santa Monica House of Billiards. They've been talking about those two matching up now for months. It's not a lot of money. It's a challenge match. It's actually sponsored by Ian Campbell, and he's basically putting up the money for them to play each other. Wow, that should be quite interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they are gonna they are gonna play. Melinda has uh, her game has improved a lot. And we all, of course, know how good Ginny um, has played in the past and being on the pro tour. Yeah, she she really has. Is that me? Put it right here. Um, thank you, sir. So, yeah, she's Melinda's put a lot of work into her game. But another thing I like about Melinda, she will get into your head. She can. She is. She's really just a tough player because you know what? You know that she's putting her 100% into every freaking shot. And you know she has not given up anything. So you know what? When you play her, you know you have to absolutely play your best. Otherwise, she's going to beat you. Yeah. yeah. So uh, save the date, please, folks. I'm definitely going to, you know, do some digital promotion and stuff. But please save the date and spread the word. It's going to be fun. I don't think anything else is going to be streaming on that day. Friday afternoon. <laughs> I'm going to be streaming. I'm going to be streaming in a jet back to the East Coast. Visit my parents for the holidays. True, a lot of people going on, going on holiday. Nice shot by Reed. Did you see that? Did you see that inlet? That spinny handle on the ball? Wow, Norbert actually went for the combo and it ended up safe. Wow, oh wow, that is amazing. The ball switched places. You had to go for the combo, that was the shot. There was really only one shot there.
On the uh, one last side, we have uh, Cornell, who I think is on the hill, and his opponent is uh, his opponent is playing safe with a six, struggling to stay alive here, as this could be a two-shot match and it can be over. Yeah, it's 4-0 over there, and that's Cornell shooting right now. They're in a bit of a, looks like a safety battle on that six ball, 6-9. Six, and here's Reed again. And he looks like he's got a couple, couple easy balls. So let's see how that safety works out for Cornelius. He might land safe. No, he's not going to. The ball really, the table really slows down, doesn't it? So Reed took that uh, back game, and it looks like the score is now three to one. Yeah, that's correct. We Reed actually won his first game. He's he's getting uh, Reed is getting two games on the wire. And uh, for those who are wondering, I have found out uh, Norbert's last name is Santiago. Funny thing is, Mark. I'm an, I'm an old school. I played at Hollywood Billiards when I was down in that basement 25 years ago. And I used to watch Moro play all the time. Moro Paez. Yes. Great player. Francisco, Moro, dozens of players. And for all I know, I, I've seen Norbert play. Oh, and didn't know it. I just don't know. You know, I was only like 20 years old. Well, if he, you know, if, if he's playing those guys, he must have made really good. I, I know I started playing kind of in San Diego, and they used to tell me that, like, players like Sam Manoli and Louis, when they were younger, Morrill would give anybody the seven out, including those. And they were kids then. They were 17, 18. Yeah, I know. I saw him play. I saw him play nine ball with... Uh, what was he playing there? I can't remember. I was playing these gangsters. I saw him play uh, a, a race to seven set. He ran six racks from the break, like ran. Moral, Moral did. Yeah. Yeah. Moral, Moral really can be incredible. Well, Oscar took his first game against Cornelius on the other table. Indeed he did. Uh, Cornelius tried to cut that six ball in and uh, couldn't get there and Ooh. left a really easy out. And we got the sun shining in right now on that on that angle. Yeah, that is tough. I was playing that uh, table yesterday, and honestly, that is a little hard right there. Yeah, they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to work on that um, lighting situation. As a matter of fact, I'll probably have to play on that table in just a few minutes after this match, so I'll have to deal with it again. Um, yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna hold off on it until this is over. Oh, okay. All right, I didn't know it. By then, I think it'll start getting, getting dark. Just a reminder to you folks, this is a uh, hot seat match. That's true, and the uh, you know the payoff for this tournament is actually kind of nice, you know. Uh, so this uh, either one of these players are guaranteed uh, two hundred dollars 
first place is 400, second place is 300. A lot of zeros, I like that. This is, is that what people refer to as a hot seat match, A-side finals? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, I think it has the uh, same same definition, I guess. A-side finals, yeah. I actually never heard it you referred to as A-side finals. First for everything. No, I've seen that a couple times. But I, now I'm just now seeing, you know, kind of figuring it out what it means. It's funny, I was in Chicago streaming tap matches. And it's funny how the language varies in pool from like region to region, you know? And what do you mean by what, what kind of language? Instead of playing eight ball, and instead mm -hmm. of calling a safety, they'd call defense. Interesting. You know, and these guys were from, uh, I think they were from Canada. Minnesota, you know, the eastern, northeastern states. Right. Connecticut. We call defense on it. Well, everybody got the same lang different languages, but I guess in the end, <laughs> it counts the same, right? Yeah. Make the ball go in the hole. <laughs> Are you going to be um, at Hard Times next weekend when they have the uh, the Big deal event? The new, yeah, the, was it the New World Billiard by Ron Wishack? I'm not uh, scheduled to stream there. Um, and that being said, I've been working so hard lately that if I'm not going to stream there, then I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do anything cool. <laughs> Just, sure, I understand. I'm taking it easy. I'm actually, I've been working with my... Uh, with one of my associates, we've been renovating a kitchen, or not renovating, but restoring a kitchen for uh, one of his clients. Well, that's too bad. I'd actually like to see you there streaming that. I've done two of their events. Yeah. But apparently this year they didn't have the budget to do it. First one I did, uh, Wayne Pullen got in the finals with Jerry Lynn. Oh, Jerry Lynn. Yeah, good player. Very good player. He's, uh, you know what? I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he's won the APA nine ball singles, which is a ten thousand dollar prize in Vegas, uh, at least once. And he was in the finals, I think, a second time. Oh, really? That's a handicapped APA league system yeah. match. But uh, that's a big deal. Yeah, and uh, and he's also a dentist. Ah, so so when he made that last minute shot, I'm sure he smiled, right? Show off those nice teeth. He likes to smile. <laughs> uh, I can't, I'm trying to remember who won the, the next year. I think Bo Runningham won the next year. But that's a different kind of tournament, right? No, this the big is deal. the. We're talking about the all big the big deal. deal. Yeah, the big. This is the third oh, of their. Okay. They've had three of them. This is their third. I, I think Bo Runnigan was in the finals. Oh, I thought this was a... Okay, I'm not sure about which tournament then. I think this is a handicap New World Big Order tournament. Yeah, the big Yeah, deal. okay. Yeah. I'm very familiar with their organization. Okay. I just go play the tournaments. I don't really get involved in the... Yeah, you just wake up and you're like, okay, who am I hustling today? No, no, there's no hustling. <laughs> I 
I didn't mean it that way, Mark. That's okay. Louis says to me, hey, what's the matter, Mark? You didn't get any soft action? <laughs> so they're, they're teasing me. They're teasing talk, me, too. Okay, I said there was action in here, and yeah. then half an hour later, he walks in the room. <laughs> I wonder how he found out. That's right. <laughs> By the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, take advantage here and just let people know that uh, Dave Hema does give uh, free lessons on Tuesday night. It's from seven to nine o'clock at our times. So any of the people that are looking to improve their game, you can go on out. He's been having actually a pretty full uh, lot of people there every week. Absolutely, I've uh, I've advertised that many times. In fact, um, thanks for reminding me. You know because um, it, what is it? Usually, it's around anywhere from ten to sixteen people will show up. Sure, he's it's got a regular. He, it's a regular kind of. Yeah, crowd. I think so. There's there's kind of a regular crowd, and uh, you know uh, sometimes. Uh, you know, he lets them play. Sometimes he he goes from table to table, and you know he gives you a couple pointers. You know, and I think it's really helpful. Hey, I even go. I even go. Sure, I go. Sometimes I go to help him out when he's got too many people, but other times I'm going there to get my pointers too because uh, I need help with my game as well. It's really hard for me because, you know, I have visions of, and I've even told Dave, Dave's a perfect example. I keep telling Dave, I've got to come, I want to videotape, and do a whole, you know, like, you know, just a little interactivity with the camera, and then just kind of like put it on the internet, let people know. You know, little things like that, they, they, they become bigger, you know, like they, they can, you could have like, next thing you know, it could be like a freaking pool academy over it at the Hard Times Pit Billiards. Um, certainly could be. Um, you know, uh, Dave, Dave um, has a lot of great tools and great knowledge and uh, he's actually helped uh, quite a few players out you know he helped Greg Rosenheck who uh, who to be honest came up from and became one of the fastest uh, improving players at hard times for a while he hasn't played in a while but Dave has helped a lot of people get their game quick quickly and uh, Dave Curtin certainly could move into the uh, into the teacher mentor role and uh, inspiring more students in like a uh, like a uh, official academy that would be a good thing yeah he's been he's been in that role he's he's you know he's been filling those shoes already for a while yeah and Dave, Dave's actually guy. liking it he's oh wow he just oh, whiffed the night completely yeah Dave has been teaching more lately and actually he's been really enjoying it and a lot of his students are really he's having good feedback and good progress so Anyway, that's just part of my wish list. You know what I mean? Oh, sure. My wish list is oh, really, for you. really long. For you, you, for, know? you to, for you to for you to to do this with Dave, or for uh, everyone, or well, not everyone, but any sure, sure everyone, yeah. any time. You know, but the problem is, is, it takes time. You know, and I don't have time. Oh. Four to two. I mean, four two. Yeah. 
Excuse me, but I just noticed that uh, I made a, an error on the scoreboard and I transposed the names of the players. So it's actually four to two. Reed is down. <laughs> Folks, that's my fault. I've been distracting them. Switched over to oh Cornelius and uh, Oscar Cornelius trying to close out a case game for himself there. Yes, he is. He was actually up four to zero, oh, and now uh, the score is four to three. So uh, Oscar's making a comeback. Us pool players want to be nice, but sometimes we got to learn to kick them when they're down. And when you got a guy 4 0, you got to kick them hard. I don't know any pool players that want to be nice, but. We'll keep it. Wait until EG 13. My man Marco here asking me what's the next big pro event um, coming up, like locally, you mean? Well, the next the next big event that's coming up that is uh, that a lot of pros play is the uh, Jay Swanson Memorial Tournament. That's coming up February fourteenth and fifteenth, and then right after that, the week after that is the Chuck Markulis Tournament in Sacramento at Hard Times, which is also you know a star-studded event usually. And then right after that, which like literally right after that, like Monday is the 27th annual Reno Barb Table Championship. Oh, yeah. Is it 37th Yeah, so people will just naturally shift from L.A. to Sacramento to, to Reno. Yeah, there's a swing. It's right. A, it's a swing. It's a swing. Yeah, right. We got another swing, you know, the West Coast swing, which which happens now. I'm not dancing the West Coast swing with you. Every summer now. I'm not dancing the West Coast swing with you ever. <laughs> well, you're lucky because I don't play it. I just stream it. <laughs> but but that's a big swing. That's like uh, that's like a hundred twenty thousand dollar swing, you know. Starts in San Francisco, works its way down to Bellflower, and then goes swings back up to Vegas. We have a Hill Hill match. Wow. On the loser side between Oscar and Cornelius. Oscar in the red sweater. And Cornelius sitting down. Hill Hill, we'll see if we can't get a shot or two out of that match. But right now, Reed needs to try to come back here and uh, do something against Norbert, who's kind of taken, capitalizing on every mistake he makes. himself kicking, kicking at his own work, and look at this. Uh-oh. Well, at least the nine ball is not in front of a corner, so they will have to run the balls out. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, I knew it. But he's looking at that 5-9. He is looking at that 5-9, isn't he? Yeah, I'm sure he wants to shoot as many few shots as he wants. Wait a minute. Oh, he's going to go. Are they playing the kitchen rule? No, I think he's going for the two five nine combo. I saw him oh, do this earlier. One went down. I'm sorry, I thought that was yeah, a one. Yeah, you know combo. he did this earlier and he he slopped in a nine ball. Trying to take a ride. Does that kind of player scare you or make you enthusiastic? Oh, me? I don't feel either. I become extremely conscious of where I want to leave, you know, my cue ball. And I it just basically, I know, because I've played nine ball bomb over, I've had over three dozen matches with nine ball bomb <laughs> over the years. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I played, I played USPPA and NWB. I don't think I've played them once. For many years. And I matched up with him. Like, I, I kept matching up with him. And I know how to play him. But he likes to go for that, too, doesn't he? He likes to go for that wild nine ball. That's why they call him nine ball Bob. Nine ball Bob. <laughs> is, he also, is, he, is he also ATM Bob? Is he also ATM Bob? <laughs> yeah, I've heard a lot of names. No, but I mean uh, ATM Bob because he keeps going yeah. to ATM for trying to ride that now. Yeah. I've heard a lot of names for Bob, uh, some of which I can't really talk about, but... Well, I had a few of my own for him yesterday. If you can read about it on Facebook. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so anyway. <laughs> but we're all friends today now. Yeah, we are. Oscar's gonna, gonna take advantage of, uh possible run here but look at Norbert man Norbert's about to take this nine down and he does now it's five to two this match we're watching right now is Hill Hill so Oscar has probably the best opportunity in this rack so far. Actually, Cornelius had ball in hand on the break, though. He, want, he wanted to ride the nine. Yeah, it may uh, cost him a little bit. Yeah. It may cost him the match. Shot. And that was the sound of Norbert breaking in the background, by the way, guys. He broke dry, and Reed is cruising around the table, taking a look at the layout. Got to play off safety, it looks like, on that one ball, or maybe ride the nine. Whoa. That's close. That was, I don't, that was pretty bold. Uh, yeah, I don't think you get any closer or better, honestly. <laughs> and he's hooked. Yeah, I think he's playing for the two-way. Play a lot of two-way shots, Mark. Absolutely. Especially if I'm playing bar pool. Hopefully, my opponents don't even know I'm doing it. <laughs> well, Reed's plan paid off, and looks like Oscar is going to. 
drop this nine ball and end the race. Coming back from four nothing, four nothing, four nothing to win five games in a row. Yeah, he he had to spot. He was uh, had okay, to spot. Look at him. He's got his arms. He's, yeah, <laughs> there's the yeah. camera, buddy. Yeah, he's happy. Say something to the camera. <laughs> he's, look at his smile. <laughs> he's happy. <laughs> As the other opponent breaks down his cue, ready to go home. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that last game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but Cornelius doesn't have anything to complain about because he is walking away with Oscar. money. Oscar. Oscar. Yeah. Hey Oscar, what's your last name by the way? Um, my last name is Antamaran. Oscar Antamaran. Okay, oh, you have a phone call. Somebody calling to congratulate you. Hello? <laughs> For your televised win. Yeah, I know, I got it. Oh, see? Yeah, I told my son to watch it, I'm playing. Oh, put him, put him on speakerphone. Put him on speakerphone. Right. Pardon me? Put him on speakerphone. Put him on speakerphone. Oh, you just hung up. Okay. All right. Never mind. You're welcome, Oscar. All right. Say hello to your son. Hello, Richard. Oh, phone, just say hello. Hi Richard. Uh, well, I'm, I won the game. It's just, it was just a lucky game. You don't understand if I speak again. <laughs> All right, you guys. Obviously not a trained professional in the camera. But that's okay. We love us. Thanks a lot. <laughs> and neither am I a trained professional. <laughs> You're watching. <laughs> Manila Billiards nine ball shootout here. The World PPA nine ball shootout. We're streaming live here from Carson. Manila Billiards in Carson. A little pool hall that I highly recommend you check out. Plenty of action here all the time. Come on down. Say hello to Jimmy, the houseman. Say hello to the owner, Dante. Order a coconut water and some barbecue chicken. It's all here. They're having a barbecue outside, actually. It's nice. This is actually his Christmas party, $400 added. 200 of which was uh, so graciously donated by the World PPA. Sponsored by the World PPA. So, I hope you guys are having fun and I hope uh, the stream's not blacking out again uh, as frequently as it was earlier. Let's just uh, continue with this match here. Reed now is uh, down one game. It's four to three. And uh, he's a little jacked up over this nine ball that was earlier. I'm looking at the delayed reaction here. Let's see how Norbert handles this. This is in pretty good shape, actually. And he decides to play the bank. Thank you. 
guys uh, I'm hitting a wall I really am I'm hitting a wall and uh, I'm getting I just had food and I'm falling asleep <laughs> you see I don't even know what I'm doing the score is actually four to four in this match between Reed and Norbert in a race to eight, the hot seat match. I will try my best this is. Not to make any more, but I will not make any promises. But I uh, will not make any more mistakes in the accounting of these games for the entirety of this match. Please share this, uh, share uh, this event on your <laughs> Facebook and Twitter pages. Let everybody know that we're streaming live here from Carson Manila Billiards. Where's all the action? There is action going on in the corner there. Luis Lopez is in action on that back table right behind this table that we're watching. Not the back table, but the middle table there. And there's my man, Sean Summerill, in the chat room. What's up, Sean? Uh, yes, this is uh, a room full of nine-foot Brunswick tables. Six of them. Gold crown one. Um, Reed is blocking the camera, so what I'm going to do is a little magic trick. There you go. He's in trouble here. This is a tough shot. Hey, bud, where'd you go? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting here with Ryan Santos. What's up, everybody? Yeah, I was wondering how you're doing that, those magic tricks going back and forth. That was pretty cool. <laughs> going from the left camera angle to the right, mm -hmm. to the overhead. Yeah, Norbert, man. Trying to get the pocket was, cam going. I was talking about it earlier, uh, yesterday after I played him, he was... Uh, Norbert? Was, Norbert, yeah. I, well, after I saw him play yesterday, I, I was telling myself, um, if he plays like he did yesterday, he's favored to win this uh, tournament. Well, he got uh, he got away with it in the last match against Leonard. That was a tough yeah. match. Yeah, that was a run out pool. That was, a, that was an exciting match to watch. I was rooting for my man Leonard here, but Norbert is a tough cookie. You saw him. Every time he got to the table, he was running out. He got 
playing fast and loose and just and just making those balls, getting good shape. Yeah. Barely made any mistakes. So what's the score here? Score is is that Patrick Kim? It is, I think. Uh, oh, I got action. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Did 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 my action just walk in the room? <laughs> oh, my my action just walked in the room. <laughs> All right, Reed's about to take a game here. <laughs> Norbert being very courteous. Norbert's a nice guy. You ever meet him? Talk to him? Hey, you didn't give me any uh, no, no, we haven't uh, really <laughs> had a chance to talk much. Yeah. I just met him recently also, maybe a few months ago. But um, mm -hmm. real nice player, very good player. Yeah, you sent me that text, uh, in fact. How did he have that uh, coma? Oh, he had a, a, a bacterial disease in his spine. Oh, oh, like a meningitis thing? So I'm not sure what exact disease, might, but that meningitis. put him out for five days. And then when he came back, he couldn't remember anything for a month. Wow. So imagine how much of his muscle memory went, you know, in pool, his knowledge in pool. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, it must have taken a toll on that. Man. Well, Reed's ahead now. He's ahead one game on uh, Norbert. What's score five to four? And it's a race to eight. This is the hot seat match. So has uh, Norbert been keeping up the same speed that he's been? Uh, from what I can tell, yeah. But you know, Reed plays a different pace. You know, yeah. so uh, it might be. It might not be to his. To Norbert's liking, liking yeah. 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 Um, Definitely in a rhythm player. Uh, well, Norbert is kind of a rhythm player, but I've been trying to figure out his rhythm. It's he has been an really erratic, an erratic style. Erratic yeah. Style. yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's been it's uh, it's not the rhythm that I, I actually was well, not yeah, comfortable playing him. I know <laughs> you would say you would think that his timing is very weird. It's very odd. Yeah. He's probably like one of the only players that I would be playing. Yeah. He would actually shark me while he's shooting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's strange. Huh? All right, Mark. Yeah, live. Nine, nine ball. That's all it means. I had a problem figuring that out too. I, I thought it was a jersey number or something. You know? Like, yeah. Because it's on the back, of, it's on your back. You know what I, I mean? thought it was like his. I thought it was his rating at hard time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm get a, I'm getting more coffee. Sure, go ahead. Wake up. Anything? Wake up. No, I'm good, man. Oh wait, um, g give me a monster. Put on Jimmy's tab. Okay. Tell. I'm Filio. <laughs> I'm Filio's tab. <laughs> I feel like I'm holding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Leonard, what do we got here? What's up, POV pool? Um, Reed. So what shot do you think you're going to play? Two rails? If, you, if it's thin enough, two rails. Just a little bit of outside, a little draw, two rails? Or inside? Two rails and then back up inside. the table to the middle of the table. Inside top, one rail, two rails? Two rails. Long rail, bottom rail, up. Like that. Yeah. But I didn't think he was going to play short side. Me either. But he got perfect. Yeah. Easier shot, I think. It looks like a cut. I feel like a, um, I'm like a commentator in a golf course. Yeah. Like, you know, like I'm watching Tiger yeah. Woods. Cause I <laughs> for the win. <laughs> I feel like I got a whisper for some reason. I do. Me too. So I heard you had some action last night. Until 3 a.m. in the morning. I was dead tired when I played that guy. I bet. And I lost. How much did you lose? I can't tell that sh I'm not going to divulge <laughs> that information to the internet, man. Sorry, people. I tried. I want people to think I'm a millionaire or what? Yeah. I, mean, I could get you action all over the world. <laughs> I don't want action all over the world. I don't want people all over the world robbing me. Manila Billy. <laughs> you know where his name is Ryan. It's not hard to find. 
Yeah. AKA the ATM machine. Yes, AKA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he gonna bump it and get perfect position? Oh, he got a little oh. unfortunate there. He's got he's got to play some kind of safe. Might see a I don't. Shot here. No, uh, he's gonna play some kind of safe, but I don't know what. Might do a, what, what's that a what's that shot called? One rail right there. What do you mean, like off the off the point? Yeah. It's like a trick shot. Skin it with inside and make it in the side pocket. No, that's I don't think he has a, that shot. That shot's not available. <sighs> it would be nice. So I guess I'm playing Mark next. Who's Mark? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Mark, Mark Whitehead. Yeah. Oh, you should. That should be a good game. Yeah. Um, I don't know who's favorite in that match. You, the way you're playing today, it's really hard to say. Like I'm just. Nord, I feel like Norbert's no, better than. No, I, I. It would be a harder competition. No, yeah, I feel like that too. I, I totally agree. Because I saw Norbert play, and uh, the stream he was, he was running out. He was running on rack. I mean, if and if he missed, tough he rack, left tough, him, yeah, Jack. Like yeah. I had to try the re re most ridiculous. Yeah, he safety. played. He played a lot of. You know, yeah. You, you, I was watching the match, and I, was, I saw him play a lot of two-way shots. Yeah, that was just a good shot that uh, Reed just shot. But yeah, that's a good shot. Uh, he's gonna try to go for this. Hopefully, bump out the nine for a shot in the side pocket, possibly. Too thick, too thick, too thick. Whoa. Okay. That's a good picture. Yeah, you too thick. Leave screen like this. Nice. It pans over. I like how it transitions. Yeah. Like all clean, like like all Hollywood like. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Who's, who's here today? Show you something else. Hold on. Can't you see Mark? <laughs> oh, you can post the picture. You could put. When this is over, yeah. Tell, tell everybody what they're watching. Okay. okay. The score. The score is. Tell the mic. The score is six to four. Six four. Six four. We're watching Reed versus Norbert, and the score now is six to Reed, four to Norbert. Nellia Billions. Little all shootout. Little plug in there. <laughs> four hundred added. Yeah. Hey, no, be great idea if you just. Put some money up to like just you know like some challenge matches. Like how, how they're doing that with Belinda and uh, Jenny. Yeah, do that with like Bruce. You know those top level eight players. You know what I mean? Six four. Yeah, Six four. Put the money up <laughs> every once in a while. Just once in a while. You know what I mean? Dante, you listening to me, bro? <laughs> I just want to get out the screen. I'm watching my table. Uh, wait, I'm sorry, I didn't know the <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do you got here? Uh, he just played a really good safe. Okay, put him in jail. Yep. Well, not really. Not, not in jail. He got, a, he, got a, he got a big ball here to hit. Yeah. You can go one rail or, or two rails, he's going to hit this ball. He's favorite to hit it. Favorite to hit this ball, big ball. Is he going to leave him a shot? Oh. Oh, okay. Double scratch. Double scratch. He gets two balls in him. <laughs> Come on, Norbert, give us a show. Just ride the nine every shot. <laughs> There's no shot on the three, anyways. <laughs> He'll find one. Oh. oh, is he gonna hook himself behind the nine? I think he got hooked. Yeah. I think he's hooked. Yeah. Uh, so right, we might say, see, uh, they call that they call that in Phil in Filipino in uh, Tagalog uh, self defense. Self defense. Oh, so. nine balls. Sure. Yeah. 
<laughs> Thanks. I feel like I gotta whisper like I'm, I'm playing, like watching Tiger Woods. <laughs> but I wanna like yell. Because <laughs> you don't want them to hear the, the shots you're coming Yeah, I don't wanna shark them. Yeah. All right, so we got Reed Fleming. He got a good ball in hand. Um, but he's gonna fall it, try but, to bump but the five out. See, there's a lot of trouble areas in this rack. First, eight, nine, and then the three, three, five. Oh, he went that way. He's going for the combo. Yeah, he is. That's not the shot I thought he was gonna play. <clears throat> All right, so the three ball is gonna pop. It, it's gonna go to the left after, yeah. after he makes the oh, five. Yeah. Depending on how hard he hits it, he might get a good shot. Oh, did he safety? Did he get a two-way? Did he get an accidental two-way? He did. <laughs> you lucky bastard. <laughs> Can I curse on stream? I don't know. I think he just did though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And he left him a wide open shot. Yeah, but he's on the rail and uh, he's gonna run into the five. He tries to follow this. Yeah, that's the shot though. You follow it, bump the five, and get the shape on the floor. He's gonna hit the five ball pretty full, I think. But yeah, yeah, he's gonna have a decent cut at it, I guess. And then I'll give him a triangle on the five. Hopefully. Yeah, we were talking about you earlier, Leonard. Who? They were talking. No, they were talking about you on stream. Oh. They were talking about your game, and uh, Mark was giving you a lot of props. He was saying that over the past few months that he's played you in tournament and seen you in tournament that you've been playing really, really well, and that you've been uh, getting good, getting really good, fast. Uh, I'm still a seven. Let's keep it and and keep in mind that you're winning a lot of tournaments as a seven, and, and people are starting to complain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's okay. yeah, so that just gives you an idea well, of how I, fast. I told Mark if I beat him, I'll bump up, I'll bump myself up. Yeah, so that gives you an idea of how fast that Leonard's pro uh, progressing at this game. I mean, he's winning tournaments at seven, and not even a month later, people are complaining that he's overrated. <laughs> the trick is to have a very poor diet, eat a lot of cheeseburgers and soda and Red Bull. <laughs> exactly. And you, and you get exactly. Good, I yeah. promise. I won't let you down. Yeah. Yeah. And it's never your fault. It's the equipment, I promise. <laughs> it's never your fault. It's always <laughs> the equipment. <laughs> uh, and he got fortunate there. But he's going to have an easy safe. Or he has a lot to work with mm -hmm. because the he's four ball's close. Options. Four balls close. You could put the cue ball behind that. You see that rainbow in the back? Yep. Hide it behind the skittles. Yeah. He's gonna, no, he's gonna, now he's gonna. He went for the, he's gonna go the other way. No, no, he didn't get six. And the seven ball blocks the scratch. If it was going to ever scratch. You think he's gonna try to bump the eight out? Right now? Yeah. No, the eight has pockets now. Oh, well, he was looking at it. Um, I, th I he's gonna run into the seven. Yeah, that's that's what I thought he was gonna do. I think it's actually good that the seven got bumped out over there for him. Nice shot. Ooh, come on. And he's gonna get unlucky. Wow. He deserved a roll there. Yeah. F that. At least, at least, it, at least it looks <laughs> Yeah. And now it's a, that's a tiny ball to hit. Yep. Tiny ball. Wait for it. Nope. Scratch. We're all good. We're all good. Yeah, we're yeah. doing good. We're having, we're having, we're having, we get the blood pumping. All right, go yeah. ahead, Dale. We're having fun here. <laughs> Thinking about eating the rest of my cheeseburger and like everybody listen to me smack my food. <laughs> Tell you what, after this, Reed's gonna be on the hill if he gets out right here. I hope he does. He's been playing pretty good lately. I mean, he's never been bad, but I feel like I, he's, I, he's I, on yeah. like a roll right now. Yeah, Reed's an awesome person. You know, you. He's got position. It's cool when you see the older guys beating up all the young guys. They're both pretty old, aren't they? I think he's got a few years on him, at least.
both pretty good players. Two different. Well, definitely, de de definitely, both really good. Definitely, uh, Reed has uh, a little more. He has physical issues. I heard he has a bad back or something like that. So maybe he's. You know, in that sense, he's a little older. That's the cool part about it. He's got a bad back, but he's still running out, running out. Let's see if he can get out this rack. Reed, very methodical. Yeah, very, keeps it very simple. Very simple. You know, there's a lot of his shots just yeah. stop, stop, stop. Yeah, not trying to be fancy or cute. Yeah. Just trying to get the job done. Yeah. And the survey says... It was a good, good idea. And he's on the hill, folks. He's on the hill. Reed Fleming on the hill against Norbert something. Seven, seven, <laughs> seven to four. Norbert Santiago, I guess. Santiago? That sounds right. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, it says right there, Santiago. 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 Yeah, man, he was my first. He was my second match, and fuck that dude just knows how to. He knows how to play. Yeah, he's good. I, he he just walked in fresh out of the morning. And yeah, cracked. he played me, and he told me he just came from the casino with his wife. His wife was still at the casino, and he just came down here to play. He said he hasn't got any sleep, and he woke. He kicked my ass like yeah, like nothing. Yeah, he just walked in, and I was like, "You want to practice?" He's like, "Yeah." And he was just running racks right off, like, massive inside English, four rail position. It was insane. I, I guess uh, Norbert's nick nickname is Camo. Camel? Camo. Camo. According to the guy in the chat. To Monk. Monk, Monk <laughs> says, I can't believe this guy is winning. Camo gave up. <laughs> I, think, you know, I think what it is. It looks like it. Uh, <laughs> I think I think uh, well, it's nine balls, fickle game, yeah. and uh, he put he, and he played he played right after um, playing playing you, right? Yeah, and like when I was playing him, I was like three zero, and he came back. Yeah, yeah, he, he's still in this. I mean, yeah. he's not the ter uh, type yeah. person to shake and, yeah, and crumble under pressure. He's not gonna fall off. He's gonna play consistent. He'll give him a run. Yeah. Especially now that he's behind, he'll probably play even better. Ah, uh, he overran that ball a yeah, little he's bit. He's gonna hook himself behind the seven. Behind the seven, yeah, and that's that's so, been his uh, yeah, just downfall the entire yeah his the entire uh, well. Set. I came in just like 15 minutes ago, but I, from what I've seen, well, that's happened like three times already or well, something. In the, in the beginning, he nice was kick, playing, nice he was kick, good. But nice kick. Know, Let's see if he gets Reed, a roll. Reed was see if he gets more a roll. Time on the table. Oh, so, I thought I was gonna end up behind the seven. I think that's why you know you think he's been in a stroke. Reed's been on the table a lot longer, and it's working. Yeah. So um, I just learned. Something. Thank you, Reed. <laughs> He's gonna cut this in the side. Get yep. Two row. I, this this looks like it's Easy put the row. yeah it's uh two it's in the right books it's it. done right it's done. It. He gets position. It's done. This six ball, it's over. Yeah. He. It looked like he was going to come up short for, for a second there, but he got perfect. He's got the Alex Pagalain uh, slow roll to perfect position. <laughs> oh, Norbert, Norbert, Norbert. I can imagine what's going on in his head right now. Oh, oh no, Reed. I think he got it. I think Wait, he did he get it. side? It's corner, other corner? <laughs> he got other corner he side position? In, in the corner. Don't tell him. Yeah, he's come. He's he, no hesitation. He got it. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know how you feel, but I'm I'm rooting for him on this match. I I, I like them both. They're both good guys to me. I, I you know may the best man win. Yeah. Um, come on, buddy. Watch the hit, watch the hit, watch the hit. Watch the hit. Oh, and that should do it. It should, but well, we'll see. What do you think he's going to play for shape in the side? Corner. Wait, it depends. He looks like he's pretty flat on the A. Yeah, he's going to play the side. Or he might go corner. Yeah, he's thinking he's deciding right now between the, the corner or the side. I'd probably play the side. It looks easier. Yeah. Get I, off the rail. 
I, would just, I don't want to be frozen. If, right yeah, out, so. that's the only that's the only danger in playing position for the side. The danger in playing position for the corners, you you might under hit it, over hit or under hit. It, it's harder to get position because you got to do more travel with the cue ball. Exactly. I'll go side pocket all day. Just there you go. Just Pop out. And Ladies and gentlemen, we are one ball away from the end of this match. This is the hot seat match, yeah. and Reed is about to oh, take. Don't care. <laughs> a lot of people commenting. How many people are watching? I don't even know. I have no idea. This is my first time. <laughs> this is your first time being streamed too, huh? Yeah, that was different too. I had the jitters for the Did you? couple games. Did you? You look comfortable. You look comfortable the entire time. I was just like, I was like focus on my breathing. Yeah, it looks like when you play, you don't really feel so much pressure and sh and get the shakes. And you know how some people they slow down their game or whatever, and that happens to them. You kind of like just, it's uh, just the trend. Oh, oh, my God. He hit the titty. You, uh, your adrenaline kind of takes over, and yeah, you nice. just you just keep playing fast and loose. The only thing that gets in my way is my head. Yeah. Once I tell myself, oh, I'm not gonna make it, or this or that. All right, Norbert's still in this. We got it's, it's still a dog fight, kind of. Oh, look, he said I wouldn't be surprised if he misses. That was he a tough shot. Told, yeah. That's a tough shot. I mean, but Reed usually, Reed, Reed usually gets those. He hits too hard. Reed hits too hard. I don't know. I don't think I agreed with that. I don't think it hits too hard. He smoked it, Boobies. <laughs> <laughs> but the T word. Oh, tit. Yeah, I'm talking about because I said I hit the. He hit the tit. Yeah. He hit the boob. Yeah. Hit the hard boobies. Yeah. He's got yeah. a good break. Oh, but he might. Oh, uh, uh, side uh. pocket. Okay. What does right. he have? He he, had, he he doesn't. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna go eat my food. All right. Leonard the Bach, everybody. <laughs> He'll be Bach. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. Gamble yeah, bank shot there. No guaranteed position on the two, but you could see it. He has a now he has another bank. We're safe, which was the wiser choice, I, uh, apparently. Got a whole line of balls to hide behind. Me too, Monk. Me too. Okay, he has a choice. Nine ball or run out. Just thinking about the combination. Yeah, yeah, he's going for the combo. I believe. No, no, no. Just gonna try to run out. It's not. I would say it's a fairly difficult out, but the way Norbert's been playing. Didn't she finish the uh, top two, though? Huh? Didn't she finish top two and get her money back? Yeah, the top one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, PBA. Nice shot on the three. Let's see if he gets rewarded for the five. Perfect position on the five to cut it into the corner. I like the way he played that. Using the rails. Get playing your stroke out. And uh, it's a little funny here. Oh 
whole lot of body, body movement when he gets it, but the cue ball is on the rail. He's gonna have to check up and try. Oh no, he's gonna follow. Oh, he kind of haphazardly shot that. Let's see what happens here. And gets a roll. <laughs> All right. Safety all day. He kind of, you saw that shot, he kind of just like one two it and he's like, oh, let's get this over with. Yeah, that's how I roll. <laughs> In and out. <laughs> What's Ree really gonna do? Safe behind the nine? He's banking it. <laughs> he's banking it. Oh, and he went for the nine. It was a two way shot. Oh no, no kick, no kick, no jump shots, no jump cues allowed. Hey, Snooker's funny, have you been reading his comments? Oh! Nice Wait shot. For it. He's gonna kick off the nine and he's gonna <laughs> give him shape. Yep. Perfect. Alright. This ain't no gimme though. I mean, I'd give it to him. Oh, you would give him no, this rack? No, no. You would say sports? No. Give, give him this rack? I was kidding. <laughs> it is doable. Just the final hole. <laughs> okay, I'm just telling you. Is it a harder medium? <laughs> He's using a lot of inside. Guy the Philly. What's up, John? Reed Fleming, trying to take down the seven, and, and nails seven. it. He's got position, but it's a tough position. On the rail, nobody likes that. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if he ducks here. Because there's no there's no there's no reward in taking this shot on. You get no position on the nine anyways. Yeah you could. You could if you hit it. Yeah, if you make it. If you make it and you, you hit it. Game over, he's on the hill. You don't think he's not gonna go for it, of course he's gonna go for it. That's very risky. You gotta talk quiet. I'm pretty sure you can hear you. Okay. Like this. Sorry. Okay. Don't let it happen again. I won't. Pillow talk. He's going for it. He's going for it. And he. I think he's going to give up another rack to. Um. He is. This is like story of my life. This is what I do. And okay. Except I wasn't on the show. How'd you like this event? Huh? How'd you like this event? It was pretty good. It was I'd, fun, huh? I'd be, I'd be a lot happier if I was playing, playing right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. All right. The you got it. Score is now running. seven. Oh wait, yeah, seven to six, favoring. I don't know how to change the score here. <laughs> right here. Line one. Oh, okay. Look. Yeah. Go ahead. Six. There we go. The score is now six. Uh, six. Norbert is on a Mr. Santiago. Yeah, told you he's not. He's gonna get in that one. Nope. No. Came close. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Come on. Don't be shy. Say hi. 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 <laughs> hi. That's that's John's son, a little shark. Yeah, a little baby shark at the pool hall. Mm -hmm. Future Efren Reyes, or future Superman. He has a Superman shirt. <laughs> Looks like Warren Kempko, apparently. He does kind of. Like they, they, <laughs> I could totally imagine them having the same mothers. Oh. Same mother. Oh. Uh, Norbert and Warren Kemp Kempko. I just lost against Norbert. You're in the money, right? You're in the money, right? I lost one before the hot seat. 
You're in the four and above right now, right? The what? The four and above. Five, six. Huh? There's six people in store. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, you better win against Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> then I'm gonna jump in on this practice game over here. <laughs> he he shoots the ball, a ball very 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 soft. So like I've been like for me, Tagalo, and um, I think I'm getting pretty good. I I think so too. I like I, shooting at this. <laughs> <laughs> I find that offensive. That sounds, but it's, that's a that's a accurate stereotype, but still. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shoot. Go Wish ahead. me luck, everybody. All right, good luck, Leonard. Soft draw, hard draw. Hey, you try to play safe. What's going on, Ryan? Not much. Uh, me and Leonard are just having a little fun little chat here, chopping it up. Uh, we're just talking about Leonard's first time being streamed and first time talking on stream. What's uh, the score here? The score is seven to six, favoring Greed Fleming, and uh, but Norbert was down seven to four. Uh, so he, and then he took two games away from. Um, Read just now. Okay. I, f I feel like this is gonna go. I want to say that it's gonna go hill hill. I feel like it's going to. So a lot of safety battles. It seems yes, like. Yeah. yeah. A lot of a lot of uh, back and forth uh, trading. I've gotten into that with Reed before. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He knows how to. Uh, he knows how to escape too. He's one of those. Uh, he's kind of like one of those bottom feeder pool players. You know. He yeah. waits for those final two balls to be missed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he almost oh, made that shot. And then he goes for that. Yeah. Yeah, that was just a huge turn me down. into a liar. <laughs> <laughs> they're actually yeah, having see, fun. They're, they're laughing. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That, that means they're relaxed. They're playing. I mean, I, I feel like that means they're playing. That means they're so playing good. So it's seven six. Seven six. Yeah, we changed. We changed it. We figured it out. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You guys are young, software loving kids. <laughs> you know, I like that. <laughs> Oh, don't hit the tit! <laughs> I love his um, his uh, uh, body English. Player participation. Yeah, his body English is funny. Yeah, he does. He, he does. Yeah. Look, look at that. <laughs> it was like uh, he was like yeah. he, he was moving the ball and taking off his cape. Yeah. At the same time. <laughs> He's putting a lot of emotion into this. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it helps. Players, you know, some, sometimes they say the harder, the more emotion you put into it, the harder you rock. But I don't know if it applies to pool. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I can imagine it helps them channel their feelings. You know, yeah. I've seen Mike Massey use a lot of body English. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's tons of players. I mean, uh, you ever seen Keith McCready play? Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> he's another one. Another, yeah, he's <laughs> very flamboyant. What about the Moro? Yeah, very flamboyant. He's talking about Moro. He, he, like yeah. he looks like a, like a, a gopher when he shoots. Like he pops up right out of his shot. Like life is beyond uh, body English. Yeah, <laughs> he does kind of like like, the, like the groundhog yeah. looking for yeah. the shadow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, he springs up out of nowhere. Like like you see, where do you go? Where do you go? He's below the table. And then he's okay. All right, what? What he has here is either a carom. I don't like the carom because the eight ball's frozen on the rail. But he could. Uh, he, yeah, he's going to just send the cue ball up table. Just leave it on the rail. Try it ideally. <laughs> well, we saw Alex Pagalain. He, he 
he sprained his shin and his, his ankle, body, right? His and on the, ankle at the Swanee, yeah. yeah. The Swanee. And, and what was the up. final? The final was between him and Oscar Dominguez, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then um, he was up. He was on the hill, and Oscar was down like three. He, was, he only had three. Like, no, it was like three. It was like ten to three or something. And then Oscar caught up Hill Hill, did, wasn't it? Or something no, like that. No. Oscar got up to um, eight. I eight. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that could. Have, that would have been terrible <laughs> if he lost because of that. Yeah, he was using. He was using his cues as crutches to get around the table. Are you serious? Yeah. I didn't see that. I just heard about it. Everyone was just buzzing about it after, after that happened. It's on my YouTube. You can oh, watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Your vods. Yeah. Oh. My yeah. vods. Your vods. Video on demand. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I call them. Isn't that what they are? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a very technical person. I was um, listening to you talk about your, your problems with the blackout. You ever try... Yeah, uh, see, here you go. The app, the epic Alex Paratrooper <laughs> Paratrooper man. Thanks, Snooka. <laughs> here we go. Let's, let's okay. if, if, if get he, back to the, yeah, the match yeah, here. If, if you present get, time. Yeah, if you can and get... And we got the real birds now. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I get a little emotional when I'm at the, the watch. <laughs> just, just, do you want, want some Kleenex? <laughs> no, I'm saying I curse when I like, oh. and I'm trying to rest restrain myself. <laughs> but I know I can say stuff like PG-13. It's not rated R, rated X stuff. <laughs> I don't worry about it. We're good. <laughs> I can't believe he missed that. He jumped up like really quick. He like he knew. He didn't want to take ownership of that missed shot. He jumped up like I don't want this. I didn't I, do. I didn't do that. <laughs> you speak Tagalog? No, I understand. It was my first language, but um, eventually I lost. I lost it. If you don't use it, you lose it. Just like in bull. Yeah. Look at this shot. He's gonna cut this down all the way down. He's gonna cut it, but we don't know if it's going in though. If it does go in, it's over. It's look, oh, it, it's, it's look at this. Wow. And it's over, folks. It is. Good shot. You can tell that's when Reed is, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's when Reed's going to kill you is when yeah. he sits here and takes an extra 18 seconds. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. That's when his brain is doing all the calculations, figuring everything out. That was a very clutch shot. Yeah. Very clutch. Reed Fleming, the Dragon Slayer. Yes, about to take the hot seat match. And about to take it down eight to six. I don't see anything happening here. That's going to indicate otherwise, and he takes it down. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> perfect. 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 Good so, game. Now that's going to do it, folks. Yeah. Reed it, Fleming earns himself a spot in the you hot know, seat. Yeah. Didn't he win some other big thing recently? Like Another big tournament? I don't know. I think Bob knows. I don't know. Yeah, Reed's been doing really I read well. somewhere that Reed was in the hot seat. That's what I, I read. <laughs> I like, Reed earns the you know, on Facebook. Another big tournament. Reed's I'm not in sure. The hot seat. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I haven't seen, I haven't seen too much from Reed, but uh, he's definitely putting in a lot of work this tournament. So he takes a hot seat match. Norbert. That sends Norbert to That's the right. B side, and uh, leaves us with. Yeah, we still have six players in this, huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> so anyway, no, I mean the only reason I say that is because we had a choice yeah. to run it a certain well, way. Well, I I feel like you know you should or they should ask the players, do you want to be streamed or not? You know, and then yeah. uh, do they have a choice in the matter? Or was of course it, they have a choice. Did they have a? Did Bob go up to them and, like, and said? Uh, of course they want, have a choice. And they were like, I want to be on TV. I don't know about that. <laughs> Let me ask you something. If Dracula was streamed live, would you just see a Q-stick like, walking around the table? No, I only... Oh, well, you know what? Because cameras have mirrors in them, right? Reflective mirrors? Well, yeah, Dracula cannot be seen on camera or in a mirror. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty awesome. 
All right, so we're gonna get back to the next match. I want to thank our sponsor, uh, sponsors, Kamui <laughs> Tips. Go to KamuiTips.com and check out the new clear, the new Kamui Clear Tip. Uh, I played with those. Those are really good tips. They last. They, they last a little bit longer than the regular tips, and uh, yeah, they have a more consistent hit throughout their lifespan. Yeah. And I'm still using their chalk, which I use the number 98 chalk. Which is why I never miss Q anymore. <laughs> <laughs> also, I want to thank uh, Poolaholic uh, Clothing, Apparel, rather. Apparel sounds so much more you know, distinguished. Yeah, apparel. yeah, more, more fancy. Uh, Poolaholic.com, check it out. Steve Dittmar. Attire. Yeah, <laughs> Look, check this out, this hoodie out, man. That's very fancy, it's very fancy Poolaholic it's, attire. It's attire. Not, it's attire. <laughs> attire. It's not even material, it's material. Material. <laughs> yeah. So go to Poolaholic.com and get yourself some apparel. Yes. They have some very nice clothing, yeah. and nice material. Some nice attire. Attire. <laughs> attire. Yeah. Some material. If you want to get bourgeois with it. <laughs> bourgeois. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's not forget also the reason we're here, the worldppa.org. And uh, Bob Bolio, I want to thank uh, Bob Bolio for, uh, you know, helping to contribute to the added money in this event. $200 we got from the World PPA to help us um, uh, create a prize fund, a $400 added prize fund. Also, I want to thank Dan Dante and Carnation, uh, the owner of Manila Billiards. That's right. We are at the Manila Billiards Nine Ball Shootout, World PPA Nine Ball Shootout here, brought to you by Dante and Carnation. Uh, the owner of Manila Billiards and has been throwing this barbecue. You know, I really yeah. wish we had more people. I there know. Was there a lot of people here yesterday. Um, no, uh, yeah, there was. There, I mean, like maybe twice as many as I see now. Uh, but yeah, definitely. No, I still wish there were more people that came because I mean, how often do you see like a canopy outside of a pool hall just serving food like that? <laughs> no, I know they got the canopy, <laughs> yeah. and the grill going. Yeah, and, I mean uh, they really just tried to trick it out, you know, yeah. and, and accommodate the uh, the, the customers, people, the people viewers, uh, players alike. Yeah. So. Anyway, that being said, folks, uh, those are our sponsors, uh, including also Runout Apps, uh, who uh, makes the Scorekeeper 2.0. Have you heard about this? It's, no, no, no. no. Scorekeeper 2.0, it's a new app for your iPhone, uh -huh. and it actually helps you keep uh, track of all statistics of your match, like, you know, oh, really? balls on the break, uh -huh. scratches on the break. You have to um, enter that information manually? Runs. Well, basically, yeah. your opponent keeps track of your score, if, or if there's like a tournament uh -huh. director or oh, somebody. Oh, they're doing it for, for you. You can do it for leagues as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, And um, uh, like the tap league is using yeah. it right now. They're trying to get it to be a more of a primary. It yeah. also helps it helps us go paperless with a lot of this stuff. That's you know? that's pretty a lot cool. Of things are paper, getting paperless. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah, know? yeah. Well, a like digital world, you yeah, know. Exactly. And that's so. awesome. You know, you get to uh, you could gauge your game over time. Um, yeah. See your stats over time, like they do in baseball or in basketball. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what uh, the yeah. Scorekeeper 2.0 is. So check yeah. out Scorekeeper 2.0 on your iPhone. Yeah, yeah, that has a lot of implications to it. Yeah. Yeah. As also, far as any. Also, commercial here, I'm going to play for you guys. Again, thanks a lot for uh, checking out Manila Billiards. We're going to be back with another match in about uh, four minutes. So Thank you, folks. Lot. Thanks, Ryan.
All right, guys. So we are going to uh, get more matches start out, uh, started very shortly. Um, we're going now. Um, congratulations, by the way, to Reed Fleming. It's all right. You're still in it. <laughs> Norbert uh, takes it with a smile. And we're going to get Rhino and Oscar playing on... Hey. Oh, on the stream table coming up, you'll see that's Oscar right there in the red sweater. Uh, and he's going to be playing Rhino. Rhino in the Golden Q polo shirt, uh, who you will be seeing dance around this table as he runs racks into oblivion. <laughs> My audio is cutting in and out. Is it cutting in and out now? Hello? Oh. Cutting in and out. How about that? Is that any better? 